Hello everyone, welcome to this short video on Steam is more efficient than most people think. Maxiterm is an innovative Steam heat exchanger manufacturer. So my name is Patrick Lack, I'm the international sales manager for Maxiterm. I travel all over North America and um, I always start my presentation by telling people that I'm from Montreal, Quebec, Canada and this is where Maxiterm is located. And my first language is French, so I'll do. I always do my best to speak in English. I'm sure you will understand everything, but you will hear some French accent maybe and some mix mac words. But uh, if there's any question at the end, just send me an email. I'll uh, send, I'll give you my email at the end of the presentation and my Skype ID, and uh, you'll be. Uh, I'll answer everything you uh, needs to be answered. Having said that, in this short presentation, I'm going to talk to you about. The Steam, some Steam Basic refresh, of course. Then we go, we're gonna go through the technical explanation, our concept benefits, some pictures, why use Steam, some satisfied customers, how I started in Steam business, and the next step suggestion that I will suggest to you at the end. So we're gonna talk more about me at the end, but I'm gonna go through our vertical heat exchanger today. And explain you why it's so efficient. So before we go in a technical part, let's go some refresh on steam basics. When uh, higher pressure you're going, temperature of the steam is going higher. Then latent heat. Latent heat is one pound of steam that turns in one pound of condensate at 15 psi. It will give you 945 BTU per pound approximately. And the higher pressure we're going, the latent heat is going down. Then the volume of the steam is going down also as higher pressure we're going. This explains you why most of border room works at high pressure steam. This allows the piping to be smaller to transport the big amount of steam in each mechanical room. Then arriving at those mechanical room, we knock down the pressure at 15 because there's more latent heat available in each pound of steam. But I want to point you out that sensible heat has higher pressure we're going, is going higher, and so the total heat. So basically, there's more heat available in each pound of steam has higher pressure we are. So there's more heat available at 100 pounds than 15 psi. This is our vertical heat exchanger. And let's assume that we work conventional way at 6 psi for let's say a 4 million BTU process. And I wrote 6 because even if you're coming in at 15 psi, you will never have 15 psi in the heat exchanger because you have a pressure drop in your inlet control valve on the steam. Then we will oversize the heat exchanger. So on a full demand, all the valves are open, the pumps are running, we are flooded at the end of our, of our tube, and we make sure that the condensate will come out at 200 degrees Fahrenheit, so zero flash loss. Assuming that we work at 4 million BTU process, this means on conventional way at 6 PSI, we will need 4,171 pounds per hour. But because we're flooding the heat exchanger, we're gonna take sensible heat out of it, so it will give us about 3% saving. Let's redo the math, and let's assume this time that we work at 100 PSI. We'll have more sensible heat, giving us 6.26% savings for the same amount of heat that you need. So higher pressure you have, more efficient we are. Every time we make a selection, for in this example, conventional way, we suppose 10 PSI and maxi term 30 PSI, because that's the steam pressure available on site, we will calculate your potential saving based on your, on your dollar per million BTU hours of operation, and we'll even give you your carbon footprint saving. And we are still more efficient even at zero PSI. 30% of our jobs are in a low pressure process, by the way. What we do is we put the control valve on the condensate. So when that thing's going to modulate, I'm going to play with the heat surface area of my heat exchanger. That allows us to keep plus or minus 2 degree Fahrenheit on variable flow. And we have a full closed loop system because we have no more flash loss. And if you put a vent condenser on the DR reader, you'll have a total closed loop on steam process. 
So we have less makeup water, zero flash loss, no more pressure reducing valve. This is a big maintenance saving. No more relief valve to the roof. We will put an ACME stamp on the heat exchanger but also on all components to avoid that safety valve. No condensate receiver pump. We don't control on the steam inlet so we don't need any flash tank unless you have big back pressure to your condensate return line. Otherwise no flash tank, no pumps. Smaller pipe size because we're using higher pressure. Smaller control valve, up to 10 million BTU process, we use a half inch control valve. No vacuum breaker, I don't inject oxygen anymore in my return line. Energy saving up to 20%. This is the case you're using district energy steam from a city. They don't want to condensate back. So we will select the heat exchanger to extract maximum heat in each pound of steam. Stability set point of plus or minus 2 degree Fahrenheit, less maintenance costs, turn down a 50 to 1, 40% less space in your mechanical room, and we offer a removable tube bundle for maintenance. This is how we modulate at full load, 50% of the load, 10% no load. This is a typical design for a conventional way on steam application. You can see your one-third, two-third pressure reducing valve station, safety valve, vent to the roof, then one-third, two-third control valve on the steam. You're coming out on the flash tank, vent to the roof, condensate pump, and then go back to your condensate return line. So you can design it this way if you want, or do the same application this way. A very easy way to design a steam job. This is one of our unit of 550 US GPM on glycol at 125 PSI. Two unit of 2200 US GPM at 125 PSI steam. See how small it is. Takes much lower space in your mechanical room. Plus I want to put your attention on the tube sheet. The tube sheet the tube and the tube sheet at the tube sheet level here, sorry, is they, it's always seeing water on both sides. So less stress on the tube sheet, more longer life. This is 1,900 US GPM heat at 80 PSI. This is our full skid package that we offer more and more. This is a 4 million BTU process redundancy system with all the pumps on it. The expansion tank uh, that you don't see on the other end. There's a tank here for the safety valve on the glycol, even a pot feeder. Everything is on it electric panel, control panel, and uh, we call it the ultimate five because for the contractor, there's only five connections so steam inlet, condensate outlet, liquid in, out, and electric panel. That's it, it's done, ready to go. The control panel touchscreen, back net, all the sequences already pre-built in. Our domestic hot water unit, our clean steam generator. We do a lot of 3D so um, you know exactly what space we're going to take in your mechanical room here. We provide these. Finally, why use steam? Today world, we work on natural gas. Tomorrow, you don't know what big fuel we're going to use, right? So if you're, if you're putting condensing water all over the place, uh, you'll stuck with natural gas for life. Also, a steam water room can be optimized, you know, with a stack economizer, a high, high turn down burner, heat recovery on your blow down, vent condenser on your deer reader. But the most important reason why we should consider to use steam, it's because it's a safe device. Every time we have a steam leak, it's never an emergency. When you have a natural gas leak over time, you'll take care of it right now, right? If you have a glycol or hot water, uh, hot water leak on your uh, closed loop system, you'll take care of it right away because you're gonna have a mess. Steam, it's never an emergency. You can wait summertime to make the repair. You can wait the next shutdown to make those repairs. So you don't have to worry about your process, your building heat, your clean steam. You can always rely on steam. Of course, when you have a leak, it costs you more energy. But at the end, you're not losing your process. 
we have a steam clock downtown Vancouver. This is downtown New York City, and uh, I've seen Kona at the same place in the year after, so they don't necessarily make their repairs during summertime. And I found that picture on Google, so we can't have a steak on steam today. Our different type of customers, of course, we have universities, college, and schools, hospitals and clinics, pharmaceuticals, food industries, pop and paper mills, and downtown building with steam district energy. This is some of the universities that we they have our units on their facilities. And we have a world-class lab and seminar room that we invite you. We take care of all your expense if you're a consultant, engineer, or a hand user. And um, it's a one and a half day training. The first day we don't talk about our products. We just go through the steam basics. We even have a steam trap board here. We don't manufacture any steam trap. So we've put different kind of manufacture and different type of steam trap and we make them work on different operations. So you can have, you can make your own opinion on what's the best steam trap in the market. It's a real lab with all kind of units. As, as you can see, it's not really a showroom. It's we make all kind of tests here. So you just go on our website at maxi-term.net, you click on Steam Training on the left side and you have a short form to fill. We'll send you an email to confirm your registration. You have uh, different dates that, that you can choose from and don't forget your passport of course and Montreal is a beautiful city by the way. <laughs> this is my dad and cousin, the two genius behind all this. So now you know how I started in the Steam business. I was about 14 years old when dad asked me to make his first drawing. Those days uh, AutoCAD was not like today. Oh anyways, I made I think I don't know how many thousand drawings I did for him during my high school years, college and university years. So um yeah, so when I arrived with that in the business, quickly I was able to make some recommendation to people about Steam. This is how I started. So anyways, I invite you to contact me or one of our rep. We have multiple rep all over the United States. You can go on our website and find your rep here. And um, right now at the bottom of the video, you can see you can communicate with me by email, Skype, or my phone number. We can schedule a one-on-one -on -one webinar or with some of your colleague. Or if I'm planning to go in your area soon, we can make a presentation to your facility, to your office and present more details. We have a new domestic hot water heater I can introduce you with. Our condensate mixer to avoid multiple return line. Our clean steam generator and our steam quality controller for sterilizer application and food industries application. The control sequence and option of all our unit and how we make a startup and everything. More technical explanation, of course. And if you're a fan like me of fishing and hockey, we can go through those topics also. So I invite you to communicate with me and schedule a webinar or a presentation to your place. And I'll be more than glad to meet you down there. And I, I invite you again to our Steam training or find your agent right there. You click there and you'll be easily able to find who's our agent in your area. On our website also, when you scroll down, you can click here on send us a request and you'll land on this page. You just fill the form and this will be direct to uh, the email box of my cousin, which is our director of engineering and he will answer you as soon as possible. More details you can give us will more quickly we can come back to you with a quote and an approximation of the uh, space we're going to need in your mechanical room. We have multiple articles also I invite you to read about STEAM and again I invite you to our STEAM training and communicate with me. Thank you for your time and hope to meet you soon or talk to you soon. Take care and have a great day.